Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you must be aware, we have a, a series of videos regarding uh, DC transmission systems, okay? And, and today we have a session related with practical numerical examples, okay? And this is this is the example 1.2, and we are working with a bridge rectifier and for line commutates converters and uh, this is the technology used for HBDC links using thyristors and what we want to do here is specifying a transformer okay there is a short statement over here as you can see and, and a bridge connected rectifier is required to supply a voltage of 100 kV DC okay to a DC load okay we want to use a rectifier to supply 100 kV. This is on the DC side, okay? And this is the voltage that we need to supply for a load, okay? Uh, and then uh, this voltage must be obtained when the bridge is operating under the following conditions, okay? The first condition is that the commutation angle uh, is gamma equal 15 degrees and then we have the delay of firing angle of 30 degree okay now the interesting question here is determine the necessary line secondary voltage of the rectifier transformer which is normally rated at 345 kV 150 kV okay now uh, we understand that is the the typical rate for the transformer but in this case we have tap changers in this transformer and what we want to know is what is the specific tap position for this uh, rectifier okay uh, something that we, you must be aware is that we are assuming this is an ideal tap changer and we are assuming this is a continuous Tap changer, okay? Okay, right, right now what we will do is start with the solution. It's extremely simple. The first thing that you must remember is there is a classical equation for rectifiers. For rectifiers, there is an equation that say that the DC voltage that we can obtain from a, a, a rectifier depend on alpha and gamma as you can see is involved in this term of the equation. And the second element in this equation, very important is the voltage V sub zero. And the voltage V sub zero is coming basically from this constant that I have been talking about, three times square root two divided by pi multiplied by VL. What is VL? VL is the line to line RMS voltage that we supply for the rectif uh, for this beautiful rectifier, okay? Um, a lot of my students, they don't like the uh, three times the square root two divided by pi, they prefer just 1.35, okay? That is a, a possibility, okay? Um, as you must remember, when we are using this equation, uh, what we are talking about is that affecting this angle alpha, well, if we affect this angle alpha, we are affecting the DC voltage that we can get from the rectifier, okay? But there is a relationship that is already defined over here between the DC voltage that we need, 100, 100 kV, and VL, that is the voltage that we want to know in this case, okay? Now, the next step is very, very simple, okay? Now, we are using the same equation. We are using the same equation. And what we will do is the following, okay? What we will do is starting from this equation, we want to know, we want to know this VL because VL is the voltage that we need, okay? Remember, we have the rectifier. Imagine the rectifier like something like this. We have the DC voltage over here. V sub D, and on the other side, we have a three-phase supply. Remember, this is DC supply, and this is the AC supply. This is the DC side, this is the AC side. And what we are looking for is VL, and VL is the um, the line-to-line -line voltage, okay? As you must remember, the here is coming alpha and also gamma, okay? 
What I am doing here is extracting from this equation the unknown variable. The unknown variable is the line-to-line -line voltage. And extracting that equation is something very simple. We can obtain this equation. And from there, it's job done. Because what we need to do is substitute alpha, alpha, gamma, and V sub D. <coughs> Sorry, remember that V sub, uh, v sub D is coming from the 100 kBDC that we need to supply, OK? Now we know that we need 100 and, uh, sorry, <coughs> I'm sorry again, <coughs> I'm sorry. As you can see over here, we have here, uh, this is the voltage that we are getting. This is the voltage that is 94.2, okay? However, in the solution of this problem, we have here a transformer. And you must remember there is a tap changer over here, okay? And what we can see over here is we have here the DC side, we have here the AC side, we have 100 kV here, this is the DC side, and here we have a line-to-line -line voltage of 19.4.2 kV, okay? This transformer, as I said before, this is a typical transformer coming from high voltage in 345 kV, yes, going to low voltage, and the typical low voltage here is 150 kV, okay? Now, we, if, if the tap changer is located at position neutral, a, a, a position, the central point, the voltage should be uh, 150, okay? But because we are using a lower voltage that is 94.2, we calculate the ratio, the ratio, the tap ratio, and we can see over here that the tap must be at the position 1.6 in order to fulfill the job over here. Okay, and that is that is uh, that is uh, the f the end of this very interesting problem. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully, we'll see you very soon. Sorry about my handwriting. Sorry, and sorry about my cough. Um, I have been uh, not so well lately. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much.